Hi students, a very good afternoon to everybody right there. Welcome to the worry session everybody. My name is Riksha Sharma, your English educator at An Academy and I give you all a warm welcome to this session wherein we are going to deal with the chapter the making of a scientist. What we are going to do, we are going to have word to word explanation and right at the end of the session we are going to have a menti quiz. All right people, so this is really important for everyone to stay tuned for the entire session. The reason being that this is one of the chapters which is a bit difficult to understand because of a lot of scientific terms and it is also important from your examination point of view all right so this is very important that you should stay tuned for the entire session all right people i welcome you all once again on this very particular platform i hope that everyone is really doing good hey pile hi guys hi everyone welcome to the worry session how are you all doing people hey vidhan hi so this is pretty one of the very important uh, chapters everybody this is a bit factual chapter and i have always been saying this that whenever we have got the factual chapters no you have to be very particular all right that you have to be very particular about the fact that you give it a proper read all righty i welcome you all once again to the worry session okay hey hi and hello to everyone how are you all doing guys hello everyone hi prakar hey kiara hi everyone i'm fine to pile thank you so much Alrighty, people so now moving ahead my name is Preksha Sharma I'm sure you guys know me so well and I've done masters in English from Delhi University and I've been guiding a lot of my students for the past few years to be really amazing in the communication skills and to score good marks in academics and I'm sure I'm going to help you as well so Lita thank you so much I'm fine hi Shabi hi Pooja hi Soumya all right Sabhi why do you want to cancel term two are you not really interested in studying are you not really interested in putting in the efforts to go the right way all right why do you want it to be cancelled don't uh, uh, be so very much selfish in this a lot of students they they are being studying right all right they they are so very much into studies i said passion today of english and how many chapter left that you are going to teach from today roshan i guess uh, still some of the chapters are being left okay i'll tell you about this we are left with like four to five more chapters Sachin, thank you, dear. All right, people. Hey, Siali. So now moving ahead, everyone. We have got the Telegram channel wherein all the updates related to the upcoming sessions are there. I request you all. I urge you all to please go ahead with it. Okay. Do not try to. Okay. Do not try to uh, not join this. The reason being that herein you will be getting the updates related to all the upcoming sessions. So make sure that you are taking care of it correctly. All righty, people now an academy free special class features guys like real time interaction using chat and emojis you will find you all can ask the questions using the question tab then live poll options would be there for quiz and poll leaderboard you all can compete with your friends as well so this is really amazing go ahead with this everyone all right make sure that you guys are definitely meeting me on the plus sorry on the very special platform so now we are left with two more special classes one is on 22nd jan okay very in that is tomorrow wherein we are going to deal with the extra questions as well as the ncre questions of the making of a scientist kindly use the code psh10 to enroll for the class and on 23rd gen we will have a mega poll on grammar for term 2 and the code is psh10 everybody definitely join in for this Alrighty, people now we are moving ahead with the chapter the making of a scientist by robert w peterson okay and word to word explanation would be taking place so everyone hey shrey hi dear hi anshu hello everybody so guys this is one of the very important chapters from your syllabus the making of a scientist okay as the title itself is suggesting that herein we are talking about the process of becoming a scientist okay all right we are not directly going to talk about the achievements made by the particular person whom we are going to read about instead the chapter unfolds that how the person okay how he was curious how were the things that were around him and how he developed one of the habits and through that he made a way for himself that finally he turned out to be a scientist a very well-known scientist in the world all right and this chapter 
has been given by Robert W. Peterson. All right. So now we are going to read about something very interesting. So anybody, are you no need to not for that. Okay. Biology is harder than actual class 10th bio. Okay. All right. This chapter is biology. Oh my God. Not really. Okay. I'm going to make you all understand that quite easily. So stay tuned everyone. So would you please tell me if anybody has read the chapter as I always suggest that try to read the chapter and then come into my class did you read the chapter or did you try to understand what exactly is being given can you just give me a hint what is there anybody can you just give me a hint everyone what is given in this chapter what do we find in the given chapter what is it talking about who is the person who is the scientist that we are talking about all right okay you, you guys have read it that's pretty good so tell me something about it now just a little bit of information Na, biographical account of a famous scientist okay shrey i get that and what is the name of the scientist richard okay what is the name of the scientist the complete name okay butterfly we see right an experiment on butterfly yeah pile you are right about that butterflies right so we are going to read really something interesting our scientist is Richard Ebright. No, my dear Prokhor, the spelling is wrong. It's E B R I G H T. Ebright, right? And his attachment with monarch butterflies. Very good. Very good. Yeah, that's very right. That's very right. Everyone, you guys are right about that. So now let's move ahead. Everyone, stay tuned. Stop me sir, anywhere whenever you are not understanding what I'm talking about or what I'm uh, making you all understand okay travels of monarch and yeah you're right rajneesh so at the age of 22 so now 22 is the age of somebody that we are going to talk about a former former means purana okay scout of the year okay excited the scientific world with a new theory on how cells work so in biology you know you know cells everybody right like the body is made up of cells right guys you know this so well so at the age of 22 matlab sirf 22 saal ki umr mein ek purana as a as mean ek person jisko scout of the air ka avoid mil, uh, uh, award mila tha what is scout everybody do you know that scout of the year everyone scout of the year do you understand by that everyone yes everyone Everybody. Yes, guys, what does that mean? Group of cells make tissues, right? You are right about that. Okay, okay. So this chapter is about Richard I right? Yeah, you are right. Hey, Fanta, I'm good afternoon. So everybody, bus by sal ke umr mein ek scout of the year. Scout of the year is basically an award, guys, which is given to the people for scouting. That means searching for someone or something. Okay. So by sal ke umr mein puri dunya mein scientific world mein is theory ne. Okay, ki cell kaise kam karta hai. Okay, is theory ne ekdam se excitement macha di. Everybody was so very much excited and was curious to know that how does a cell actually work, right? So, who was the person who did that? Richard H. A. Bright was the person and his college roommate, okay? So, he was the person, Richard H. Bright and one of his roommates explained the theory in an article in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. So, now what happened is that there was an article that was being published in which Richard H. A. Bright and one of his friends, basically the roommate, the person who used to uh, just live with him in a room, unhone kya kya? Unhone puri theory ko explain kya. what was the theory? Theory was ki cell hai, wo kaise kaam karta hai. Okay, and where did they explain this? They had explained this in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Science. Therein, under that, they had explained that theory. All right, people, I hope that you all understand that. Is that clear? Scout is related to soldier, but it is also related for the searching of the new things, okay, or something or someone. All right, so Scout of the Year award was given to him just because of the new search, the new theory that he had come up with. Clear everyone? Is that clear everybody? Now moving ahead. It was the first time. The why? Because we are being we are being particular. It was the first time this important scientific journal. Journal, what do you mean by journal, everyone? 
what is a scientific journal what do you mean by that what do you mean by that anybody do you understand the meaning of a journal what does it mean what does it mean everybody <clears throat> okay so i think i should tell you all journal is basically see it it talks about the scientific journal scientific journal basically refers to a publication all right in which all the activities they are being uh displayed i mean they are being listed all right like whatever uh, uh we are sorry whatever activities we are talking about you are right Siali patrika kind of thing okay you are right about that so it is basically uh you can say that it is a newspaper or you can say that it's a magazine so here scientific journal matlab ki wo science se related publication thi okay just me aap ek particular subject ke baare mein deal kar rahe ho subject here refers to the topic all right that is what a scientific journal is all right people in which you keep the records of news or events that is the activities so had ever published the work of college students to wo pehli baar hua tha ki kabhi matlab kabhi zindagi mein scientific journals mein aise kisi ka bhi kaam publish nahi hota hai okay it should be very important it should be a renowned thing or it should actually be completely different so pehli baar ye wali theory explain ki gayi thi in sports that would be like making the big leagues at the age of 15 to sports mein uska kya matlab hoga ki aap bahut bade bade scores le rahe ho ओके okay? और कौन सी उम्र में जस्ट एट दी एज ऑफ फिफ्टीन पंद्रह साल की उम्र में आपको बहुत बड़ा नाम मिल रहा है और आप बहुत ज्यादा अच्छे स्कोर्स बना रहे हो एंड हिटिंग अ होम रन योर फर्स्ट टाइम एट बेट सो देर स्टार दैट बीन गिवन इन योर बुक वट इज दैट मीन अ होम रन इन द गेम ऑफ बेस बॉल इज वेन द बेटर ओके स्कोर अर रन आफ्टर रनिंग सेफली अराउंड ऑल बेसिस and back to the home plate without stopping so a ball hit out of the playing field is also called a home run okay getting a paper published at the age of 15 in a scientific journal is hair compared to scoring a home run while batting for the first time so you know home run kya cheez hai ki jo baseball ki game hoti hai na उसमें जो बेटर है जो जिसकी हु इज एक्चुअली बैटिंग एट दैट टाइम वो एकदम से स्कोर ले ले और कैसे आराम से भागता हुआ सारे बेसिस के अराउंड विच सीम्स कंप्लीटली इम्पॉसिबल इफ यू आर प्लेइंग फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम दैट कैन नेवर हैपन सो हेयर इन एट द एज ऑफ फिफ्टीन ओके लाइक हेयर इन द गेटिंग अ पेपर पब्लिश एट द एज ऑफ फिफ्टीन ओके वो कंपेयर किससे किया जा रहा है कि आपको एक होम रन मिल गया ओके विच सीम्स इम्पॉसिबल बिकॉज यूजली इन द साइंटिफिक जर्नल इट डजेंट हैपन is that clear everyone is that clear yes shrey i have also seen that so for richard ebright it was his the first in a long string of achievements so that means itni itna bade puri line ke achievements mein ye wali jo achievement thi sabse badi thi in science and other fields and it all started with what it all started with just butterflies how was he able to explain the theory of how cells work he was able to explain that with the medium of what titliya but of flies okay now as a, an only child a bright grew up north of reading penis okay okay guys all right so here we are here we are basically talking about what here and he was see here we are talking about the fact that he was just an only child what do you mean by an only child that he was the only child of his parents and he grew up north of reading what do you mean by that that he was born where what was the place that we are here talking about we are talking about pennsylvania right so Here, basically, here exactly in pencil in Pennsylvania, he was born. All right, so just keep that in your mind. All right, so Lita, what didn't you understand? I had made it so clear. What didn't you understand? Let me know about that clearly. There wasn't much I could do there. He is saying, "Ma, pe me zada kuch nahi kar pata tha." What does this show, guys? The very inverted comma show that these are the direct words of the speaker. He said, "I suddenly couldn't play football or baseball with a team of one, but there was one thing I could do: collect things." So, job he was living there. He was the only child. He was saying that I certainly, certainly means me. I was sure tha ki me wahan pe football or baseball apne saath hi. जस्ट मतलब अपने आप के साथ ही नहीं खेल सकता था लेकिन मैं एक चीज जरूर कर सकता था एंड व्हाट वाज दैट 
he used to what he used to do what he used to collect things all right he used to collect things and what did he used to collect guys what did he used to collect everybody what did it used to collect everyone anybody are uh, we we know this right we know this so clearly right we know this butterflies right everybody that is the right answer right that is actually the right answer okay so now we are okay north of basically is like north of reading basically means north of is an expression which means more than okay so now he is like that hair in see uh, basically what was he doing is that there in he was growing up all right and he was doing what that he was doing more things than just reading and not looking for anybody else who was around him for what for playing football or basically um, uh, baseball all right that is what it means okay and here in basically uh, the actual literal meaning that we are talking about north of Asha north of reading basically refers to the place that we are just uh, we are referring to one of the places okay we are referring to one of the directions north of reading here in we are referring to one of the directions is that clear Shrey north of reading refers to one of the directions directions okay that is what it means this is just one of the ways now we move ahead so he did so he started collecting things and did he ever okay that means that is what he continued doing beginning in kindergarten that means bilkul ekdam choti age se hi upright collected butterflies with the same determination that has marked all his activities now there was a very different kind of a hobby that he developed and what was that uh, hobby and what was that hobby everybody reading guys north of reading is basically yeah you're right about that it's a place it's a place that we are talking about and here in that this place like pennsylvania it was like to the north of reading reading basically here refers to one of the places that we are talking about okay that is what it means i hope that's clear to everybody right I hope that's making sense. So we see that what happened is that he developed a very strange habit. And what was that? Like uh, collecting butterflies. And what did he collect along with that? He also used to collect rocks. He used to collect fossils. He used to collect coins. And he became an eager astronomer too. Sometimes stargazing all night. You know what, the, what does astronomers do? They are so very much interested in astronomy. So what did he used to do? Rath ko wo sare jitne bhi stars hai, unko gaze kiya karta tha. All right, did he ever say, I told this to you, that he continued doing that. So he did and did he ever. That means, wo usne start kiya, collect karna, butterfly. Okay, matlab, wo, so, uske pas kuch nahi tha karne ko. Thikai, baseball nahi khel sakta, football nahi khel sakta. Lekin, collect kar sakta tha things ko. So he did. To usne collect kari. And did he ever means, or wo karta chala gaya. Bas usne collect hi kari in cheeze fir. That is what he used to do. Hobby of collection uh, butterflies. That's right. So we see he became an eager astronomer. Eager matlab ki ab usko curiosity honne lag gai hai. Har cheez ke baare mein. Astronomer is a person, okay, who, who basically deals with astron uh, astronomy, right? So ab wo kya kar raha tha? Star gaze karta tha. Raat ko ab usko pure se taare dekhne mein bhi bhoat maza aata tha. So from the first, he had a dri uh, driving curiosity. That means ab uske andar ye bhoat zada curiosity ho gai thi ki ab mujhe pata karna hai along with a bright mind. To matlab uska ek bright mind tha. Okay, he was a, an intelligent person. Uske saath saath uske andar curiosity bhi bhoat thi. See, curiosity is actually the very first step to know something in life. Okay, this is one of the uh, very steps that makes you intelligent in life. If you have curiosity to know anything, you can really achieve wonders in your life. Alright, it all starts with that kinder, that with that fire of curiosity in you. All right, Aditya, because that's one of the hobbies. For example, if you tell me that I like, um, I like talking. So that's your hobby. If I'll ask you why you like talking, you'll be like, that's my hobby. मुझे अच्छा लगता है करना. उसको अच्छा लगता था. वो अकेला था. वहाँ पे बेसबॉल नहीं खेल सकता था. एक अकेला बच्चा था. तो उसको ये था कि मैं बेसबॉल और फुटबॉल तो मैं खेल नहीं सकता हूँ ना. Is that making sense to you? Is that clear, everybody? Bhumika, thank you. So he also had a mother. Okay. So he also had a mother who encouraged his interest in learning. So her mother really played one of the very major roles in his life. Okay. Because she was the one who always supported him. 
okay she always supported him and always encouraged him in his interest in learning okay and how how did she do that we'll come to know about that so she used to take him on trips okay she bought him telescopes she bought him microscopes she brought him cameras mounting materials and other equipments and helped in many other ways so telescopes you know when you want to see some distant like planets or something if you want to see the moon you need a telescope microscopes are used for watching what the microorganisms for example if you want to see what is there in the peel of an onion okay you want to see the very activity of everything that's there in air so you use the microscope and micro basically means very small okay so if you want to just analyze anything which is small you go ahead with the microscopes then cameras in order to capture things and mounting materials what do you mean by mounting materials everybody driving curiosities uh siali basically means a curiosity when you are eager to know something too much and that's just increasing in you for example if i'm saying i've got a driving curiosity to know uh if you are going to get married this year or not all right so if my uh my best friend is getting married this year so i'll be like oh my god come on tell me no i need to buy things for me i need to buy uh, shoes i need to buy sandals i need to buy a, um, a dress for me okay that is what driving curiosity that i cannot wait tell me immediately like something wherein you are just getting into and into and into in order to know more about it that is what you're driving curiosity all right that is what it is okay now moving ahead yeah so mounting material basically it refers to the material that uh, that that is basically okay anybody you tell me what do you mean by mounting material before i go ahead because you must have read something no yes everyone mounting materials okay parul good afternoon okay see mounting material basically refers to the material like wherever he used to go for his research and everything okay so there are certain things that are needed in order to climb okay so all those things whatever was being needed in order to reach to a spot and then use the telescope so her mother had given all those things also okay so she had basically given arranged all the important things that were needed for him to just uh, quench his very curiosity all right Aman, I just told you. So I was his only companion until he started school. His mother said. Now his mother made this so clear that he had no friends. Okay, the only friend, the only companion he had was his mother. After that, I would bring him home friends for him. Now she is like that till the time he started school, it was only me who was his companion. But like after he started going to the school, I used to bring his friends to our home. That means her mother. Sorry, his mother used to bring the friends to home. But at night we just did things together. But रात को हम लोग जो चीजें करते थे वो हम लोग साथ करते थे. Richie. So this is how she used to call her. Okay, this was the nickname that was being given by his mother to him. Richie was my whole life. Richie मेरी पूरी जिंदगी थी after his father died. So what do we come to know? He only had his mother and no father when Richie was in third grade. So this is one of the important details. Keep that in your mind. Then his father died at the age when he was just three. Is that clear, everybody? Tracking uh, the spelling on Anne is wrong. It's T R E double K I N G. Okay, is that clear? Now we see she and her son spent almost every evening at the dining room table. Again, our detail: where did they used to spend their time in the evening at the dining room table? If he didn't have things to do, I found work for him. Now this was one of the very important aspects of her mother. Usually mothers do like that, right? If they see that you are awakened, so they indulge you. I mean, parents do like that. If you got a lot of free time, they'll enroll you in like any any game, cricket, okay, academy or badminton. or swimming or anything else personality development so this is what she even did so if she used to find that he is completely vacant he didn't have anything to do so now she used to always find work for him but it was not the physical work but it was more about learning things for example getting the books for him and just telling him about the things that would help him in increasing his knowledge so his mother said he liked it and here in the uh, the kid that is upright he didn't used to cry. about it right that i don't want to do it instead he used to like it he used to really find pleasure in knowing about new things okay is that clear everybody is that clear to everyone yes guys
Is that clear to everybody? Everyone. Yes, making sense? Yes, guys. Now we are moving ahead. Let's have hair. Yeah. So now we are moving ahead. So what do we see next, everyone? Very good. We see he wanted to learn. So this was one of the very positive attitude, right? When you are going to write the answers, you all can literally uh, bring, uh, sorry, literally write this in your notebooks. Okay. Bring home friends. This is not home friends. He is saying after that, I would bring home. friends ko. That is what it means. All right, Shrey, that is how you read it. After that, I would bring home friends for him. That is what it is. All right. Now, and learn he did. Oh, he learn bhi karta tha. He earned the top grades in school. That means that he used to secure the good position, the first position in his school. On everyday things, he was just like every other kid, his mother said. Now, on everyday things, everyday things basically refers to the thing like what would the daily routine and the usual things that the kids do. So, he was similarly like others. The only good factor and the very different factor was what? That he used to be very much interested in learning new things new things all right is that clear it is what it is right yeah parol i do on tts that is tuesdays thursdays and saturdays for example tomorrow i will have the session with you wherein we are going to deal with the poem no men are for moving ahead by the time he was in the second grade just second class okay just second class ebright had collected all 25 species of butterflies found around his hometown so, where he was living now, he had collected 25 kinds of butterflies. Okay, species of butterflies basically refers to the kinds of butterflies. Now, see the following box. Species and subspecies of butterflies collected in 6 weeks in reading Pennsylvania. So, that is what now we will see. What this? Just look at the types, guys. You know, you may have to learn it if you want or otherwise you guys can go without it as well. All right. Failure is the fail. F-A-I-L. That is what it means, Anshu. Okay. Is that clear? He did grammatically correct, ma'am. Sorry. Is in learn Prakar. Uh, sorry. Did you see hair anywhere or like what exactly is the sentence? Could you please write the sentence? Everyone. So now we see what is it that gossamer winged butterflies, white M hair streak, Acadian hair streak, bronze copper, a bog copper, purplish copper, eastern tail blue, melissa blue, silvery blue, snout butterfly, wood nymphs and satires, eye brown and wood nymph, grey ling. Then they had monarchs as well, monarch or milkweed. Then whites and sulfurs, the three types, Olympia, cloudlet sulfur and European cabbage. And brush-footed butterflies, variegated fritillary, Harris checker spot, pearl crescent, morning clock, painted lady, buckeye, white stroy, white admiral, red spotted purple and hackberry. So you see the collection? I mean just at the age when you are in your grade 2. Like when I was in grade 2, I wouldn't even have thought about it. But he was literally a bright mind. He was an intelligent person. Alright people, do you all get that? No Shrey, you don't have to learn this table, okay? You don't have to do that. Alright, you just remain, I mean if you want to know, just, just learn these main things, okay? Gossamer wing butterfly. Snout butterfly, monarchs, wood nymphs and satires, whites and sulfurs, brush footed butterflies. That's it. Okay. Do not go too much into the detail in terms of learning all these. All right. Don't be worried. You guys will not have to uh, do that. And learn he did. Yeah, Prakar, that is right. Okay. That is completely right. That is not problematic. That is grammatically correct as well. All right. Is that clear? See, Ali, soon. Don't be worried about that. Now, moving ahead, that probably would have been the end of my butterfly collecting, he said. So, now he thought that he is done with the collection, okay. Now, he was like that I have collected 25 species. What else would be there, right? But then my mother got me a children's book. So, this is a very famous book. I don't know if you guys have ever thought of reading about it or not. Like, if you are interested in science, you can go for a reading. So, there is this book, okay. And who gave that book to him? His mother. What was that? It was called 
द ट्रेवल्स ऑफ मोनार्क टेन आओ दिस इज समथिंग वन ऑफ द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग बुक्स दैट चेंज इज एंटायर लाइफ दैट चेंज दैट मेड हिम द साइंटिस्ट एंड गाइज सी हेयर कॉल्ड इज गिवन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेल यू ऑल दैट यू नेवर राइट कॉल्ड एज okay that is always wrong a lot of students come at this mistake when they write the answer they write that the book was called as no because it is already called so we are not going to use as we always use as with known okay like he is known as or the book is known as jani jati hai book okay or called is like usko aisa bola jata hai okay so janna and bolna mein fark hai all right is that clear everybody yes guys is that clear everyone making sense so he says that book which told how monarch butterfly so one of the species we are here talking about migrate to central america opened the world of science to the eager young collector so who is the eager young collector here here eager young collector is richard e bright okay so now that book the travels of monarch and basically refers to what it talks about that how the this very species of butterfly it got migrated to central america okay so now that book just just basically fired his curiosity more wherein like he wanted to now know more okay is that clear so at the end of the book when he was reading the book and when he was done with the book what was written at the end of the book readers were invited to help study butterfly migrations which is very amazing thing you know at the end of the book that was being given to him all the readers they were being invited you know there are certain books where in uh, like the readers they have got see when a book is published everybody has got different opinions for example a book that i am reading right now i may have a different opinion you may have a different opinion about any ending even when we watch movies right like you may say wo to pagal ki tarah act kar raha tha he could have behave more bravely oh uh, sorry bravely right so we have our own opinion so now in the books of science this usually happens like the person who writes a book they invite the readers okay who can really help in studying the butterf uh, butterfly migrations like how butterfly migrated from this place to central america how did they go there so they were asked to tag butterflies for research by dr frederick a yurku hart of the university of toronto canada very important so now they were asked to tag butterflies now they were asked in order to send in the butterflies with their studies okay for research okay and who who did that he was dr frederick remember the spelling a dot yurku hart of the university what was the university university of toronto canada it was and a bright's mother wrote to dr yurku hart and soon a bright was attaching light adhesive tags okay to the wings of monarchs anyone who found a tag butterfly was asked to send the tag to dr yurke hart now see tagging is like that you need to send in the butterfly they are in in order to study okay in order to study them okay this is usually is done in the world of science that is how they really study like how does the the, the theory uh, sorry how sorry this is how they study studied that how cells really work all right people tagging is just to send in i told you na tagging butterfly is like to send to send them okay that is what it means all right so now what happened parth all right thank you dear so now everyone what do we see that they were asked to tag butterflies now a bright mother a bright ki mummy ne unko letter likh diya aur a bright ne kya kiya light adhesive that means light adhesive basically adhesive basically refers to something like fevicol okay like where in you can just stick to them okay because you have to send in okay you have to send it to them so wahan pe unhone wings of monarchs so yani ki monarchs basically refers to here monarchs refers to the uh, species of butterflies to uske wings pe pankhon pe thoda bahut wahan pe fevicol laga ke usko stick karke bhej diya all right and anyone who found a tag butterfly so wahan pe university mein ye tha ki jo bhi jisko bhi milti thi tag butterfly ki aise se aayi hai kahin se so wo kya karte the seedha dr frederick ke paas bhej diya karte the all right is that clear now the butterfly collecting season around reading last 6 weeks in late summer so everybody what exactly is that see everyone now will i'll tell you 
बटरफ्लाई कलेक्टिंग सीजन ऑल्सो गोज ऑन यू नो वी हैव गॉट स्प्रिंग विंटर यू नो दिस फ्रूट इज फाउंड इन स्प्रिंग दिस फूड इज फाउंड इन विंटर दिस दिस एनिमल वुड बी फाउंड हेयर इन समर दिस एनिमल वुड बी फाउंड इन विंटर्स दिस इज वॉट वी कम टू नो राइट सो रीडिंग में वेयर ही वॉज लिविंग इन हिज होम टाउन वहां पे से छह हफ्तों तक ओके लेट समर में लेट समर मतलब कि जब अब समर खत्म होने वाली होती है तो वहां पे सिर्फ छह हफ्तों तक आपको बटरफ्लाई कलेक्ट कर सकते हो आपको आपको बटरफ्लाई मिलेगी नाउ जस्ट सी दिस ग्राफ नंबर एंड काइंड ऑफ बटरफ्लाई कलेक्टेड इन सिक्स वीक्स गोस्टैमर विंग इतना कियम दैट इज एट All right, you see. Then wood nymphs and satyrs, you got to collect only this much. That is two. Then brush-footed, you got to see like ten. And then white and sulphurs, आपको मिली only three. All right, and monarch, you get to have only one. And then snout again one. All right, so this is how they were being able to collect it. Again, it's a detail. Please remember it. All right, yeah, Vrtika, I do remember you. A uh, hi there. So if you are going to chase them one by one, you won't catch very many. So its का ये मतलब है कि उस season में अगर आप एक के एक के बाद एक के बाद अगर भागने की कोशिश करोगे पकड़ने की chasing is like that. If you try to catch them, आपको ज़्यादा नहीं मिलेंगी. So the next step for Abright was to raise a flock of butterflies. So now, अब next step Abright के लिए क्या था? He needed butterflies more. So उसको क्या था? He wanted a flock. That means a group of butterflies he needed. Okay? He wanted to raise them. He wanted to just bring more butterflies. So वो क्या करता था? He would catch a female monarch. So he used to catch what a female monarch for the reproduction process. Okay? And take her eggs. Okay, and he used to just take the eggs of the female monarch, and he used to raise them in his basement through their life cycle. So, अपने basement में वो उन eggs को रखता था, so that when the eggs, all right, when their life cycle, I mean, when the very period of the eggs, okay, to break would come, then definitely the very offspring of the butterfly would be coming out. So, this is what he used to do. So now he used to just Keep them through their life cycle. So from egg, it becomes a caterpillar. Then caterpillar to pupa, and then to adult butterfly. This is what he started doing because ultimately he wanted the butterflies. Already, people clear. So then he would tag the butterflies' wings and let them go. Okay, for several years, his basement was home to thousands of monarchs in different stages of development. So now, what did he do? What did he do? What did he used to do? So now what happened is like uh, here we are. Just a minute. Yeah. So here, what does this basically mean? Okay. So now what he used to do is that uh, he would tag the butterflies' wings and let them go. So now he used to do is that he would tag the butterflies' wings and let them go. So now what he used to do is that he would tag the butterflies' wings and let them go. Okay, yeah. So now he used to just uh, take care. All right. So now what he used to do is that he would just tag the butterfly. That means वो उसके wings बहुत प्यार से पकड़ता था. Like when the very butterflies, okay, they were now growing, right? So वो tagging is like वो आराम से उसने पकड़ा and he let them go. He let them just go. ओके लाइक लेट देम फ्लाई एंड फॉर सेवरल इयर्स बहुत सालों तक उसके जो बेसमेंट था ना वो थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मोनाक्स दैट मींस थाउजेंड्स ऑफ मोनाक्स स्पीशीज से भरा हुआ था डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट में लाइक फॉर एग एग एंड देन कैटरपिलर देन प्यूपा एंड देन बटरफ्लाई सो जब बटरफ्लाई वो प्रॉपर फॉर्म हो जाती थी वो बहुत आराम से टैगिंग टैगिंग द बटरफ्लाई बेसिकली टैगिंग द बटरफ्लाई विंग्स बेसिकली मींस जस्ट टू होल्ड द बटरफ्लाई विंग्स ओके केयरफुली एंड देन जस्ट लेटिंग इट गो दिस इज व्हाट ही यूज्ड टू डू All right. Now moving ahead. Eventually, I began to lose, uh, sorry, lose interest in tagging butterflies. It is tedious, and there there is not much feedback. So now he is like, कि अब मैं क्या करता था कि अब मेरे को ना tagging में अच्छा नहीं लग रहा था क्योंकि वो बहुत tedious काम था, okay? उसमें बहुत मेहनत लग रही थी और कुछ ज़्यादा feedback भी मुझे नहीं मिल रहा था, मुझे कुछ समझ में नहीं आ रहा था. So now he is like, Abright said, in all the time I did it, he laughed. Only two butterflies I tagged were recaptured. So he is like. कि मैंने जितने भी टाइम में इतनी सारी बटरफ्लाइज को जाने दिया ओके उसके बाद बाद मैंने इतनी सारी बटरफ्लाइज को जाने दिया लेकिन जब मैं पकड़ा तो मैं सिर्फ दो को पकड़ पाया
okay and they were not more than 75 miles from where i lived and he is like ki mer se mer se se wo 75 miles ke distance pe hi thi lekin main pakad se do ko hi paya this is what he mentioned all right is that clear everybody do you all get that so far is the chapter clear to everyone mente is going to be right at the end towards like 3:30 or so then in the seventh grade he got a hint of what real science is when he entered a county science fair so this is the name of a fair okay in the seventh grade the has been given we are particularly talking about the class satvi class mein usko ye samajh aaya ki actually mein asli science hai kya jab wo ek fair mein gaya ek science ke mele mein gaya okay aur wahan pe he lost that means he didn't win all right like he didn't win there it was really a sad feeling to sit there and not get anything while everybody else had won something he is like mujhe bahut hi zyada bura laga ki wahan pe matlab sab log kuch na kuch jeete bas mujhe hi kuch nahi mila and then abright said his entry was slides of frog tissues to usne wahan pe fair mein kya entry lagayi thi usne wahan pe slides di thi kiske sath di thi jisme frog ke tissues ki study thi all right जो उसने सबको माइक्रोस्कोप के अंदर दिखाया हेरोलाइज द विनर्स है ट्राइड टू डू रियल एक्सपेरिमेंट नॉट सिंपली मेक अ नीट डिस्प्ले सो वट डिड ही रियली रियलाइज दैट पीपल डेंट जस्ट डिस्प्ले वट दे हैड फाउंड इंस्टेंट दे परफॉर्म द एक्सपेरिमेंट एट दैट वेरी पर्टिकुलर फेयर and that is where he realized that if he wants to win, he will have to perform the real experiment. Okay? Is that clear to everybody? Is that clear to everyone? Yes, is that making sense? Hey, Kavya, thank you, dear, thank you. So we see now he is like already the competitive spirit that drives Richard Ebright was appearing. Now you know when you are really competitive in nature, when you want to achieve something, of course you feel like winning. Okay, because that gives you the real satisfaction. And now that competitive spirit was now increasing more. He was feeling really sad that why didn't I win? Because I just displayed. I didn't really perform any experiment. So I knew that for the next year's fair, I would have to do a real experiment. Now he was sure. Agle saal jo mela hone wala hai, usme mujhe real experiment karna hi padega. So the su uh, subject I knew wa uh, most was about the insect work I had been doing in the past several years. Now he's like, jo mujhe sabse acha pata hai. वो मुझे पता है अबाउट इंसेक्ट्स एंड बटरफ्लाई इज एन इंसेक्ट एंड इज लाइक दैट आई हैव बीन डूइंग दिस फॉर द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स एंड गाइस ही वाज जस्ट इन द सेवेंथ क्लास ओके सो ही रोड टू डॉक्टर यूरक्यू हार्ट फॉर आइडियाज एंड बैक केम अ स्टैक ऑफ सजेशंस फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स स्टैक ऑफ सजेशंस बेसिकली मींस अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सजेशंस फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स ओके सो नाउ ही हैड रिटर्न दिस लेटर अगेन टू डॉक्टर फ्रेडरिक इन टोरंटो एंड फॉर एक्सपेरिमेंट बेसिकली व्हिच इज बीइंग रिलेटेड टू द इंसेक्ट एंड इन रिटर्न ही हैड गॉट स्टैक ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंट्स सॉरी स्टैक ऑफ सजेशंस बेसिकली मींस अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सजेशंस ओके सो those kept a bright busy all through high school and led to prize projects in county and international science fairs now now he was very busy throughout his school and he was performing amazing experiments and he was literally winning in his projects so he was not winning only in the very county fairs that means the fairs that were taking place in the same country but also in the international science fairs also he was now getting the awards and the prizes is that clear to everybody is that clear everyone is that making sense yes clear yes or no come on be quick in telling this to me are you all with me quite important to understand the chapter this is an important chapter okay you should know every bit of it all right yes okay people all righty very great now moving ahead for his 8th grade project now when he was in 8th class ebra tried to find the cause of a viral disease that kills nearly all monarch caterpillars every few years ab usko kya tha ab usko ye pata karna tha ki aisa aisa kya ho raha hai jiski wajah se monarch caterpillars i mean just when they are out from the egg ओके एंड मोनार्क स्पीशीज बेसिकली मोनार्क स्पीशीज की हम बात कर रहे हैं सो जब मोनार्क कैटापिलर्स जो थे ऐसा क्या होता है ऐसी कौन सी वायरल डिजीज है कि वो बाहर आते ही मर जाते हैं ओके ही वांटेड टू न्यू दिस कि हर कुछ साल बाद दे बाय आर दे डाइंग एब्राइट थॉट द डिजीज माइट बी कैरिड बाय अ बीटल उसको लगता था कि बीटल ओके बीटल की वजह से यू अंडरस्टैंड बीटल वेरी मच राइट गाइस इट्स एन इंसेक्ट अगेन ऑलराइट इज दैट इज दैट क्लियर टू एवरीबडी 
competitive spirit i told you shrey were you not listening to me i made this so clear competitive spirit is one of the spirits that in, that enhances the competition inside you that you want to go and you want to win that is what it is all right is that clear now i hope that's making sense which doubt are you talking about shrey i can see any of your comments in the last 20 comments i can no, i just can i can only see one of your comments what is not clear to you shrey like your messages are appearing very late to me just ask me what is not clear tell me i'll ask you the question right at the end also if there's something not clear so we see eighth project ke liye usne koshish kiya ki kya viral disease hai so every thought the disease might be carried by a beetle ki ho sakta hai ki beetle ki wajah se ye virus phail raha hai so he tried raising caterpillars in the presence of beetles so kafi sare beetles ko pass rakhe he tried raising the caterpillars all right i didn't get any real results he is like mujhe koi result nahi mila but i went ahead and show that i tried the experiment now he is like i went ahead that means maine aage badhkar ye wala experiment apne fair mein dikhaya and i won and i won the result for that so this time he was really experimenting and he won it okay so the next year his science fair project was testing the theory that why straw butterflies again one of the different species copy monarchs that means that they they were also becoming extinct and they were also dying because of the viral disease the theory was that viceroys look like monarchs because monarchs don't taste good to birds this is very important now everyone all ready here we go here we are shrey i don't see your message again what is not clear to you shrey is there something that's not making sense to you all right beetles they are the insects guys you have seen like small black color insect it is uh, you must have seen that like we see that around in hindi i will um, try to think about this like what are they called in hindi um basically i really don't know what they are called in hindi everybody but they are very small black color insect okay if you guys are going to google it out no you'll understand but what it is is like that this is like very small and black in color kind of insect okay is that clear everyone and sure because they have that this is something which is not related to our very chapter but they have a proper way okay like they have a proper way of uh, uh, knowing that where is their honeycomb and like the way uh, a particular bird knows that there there is my insect similarly they also know this so well bees also know this so well that where is their honeycomb all right ananya monarch basically is a type it's a species okay monarch butterflies is a species okay wo ek type hai butterflies ka okay naam diya hua hai yahan pe monarch doesn't mean king okay not really shivang like in uh, we do not call beetles to be like that uh, okay we do not say it to be like that okay because khatmal is basically known as bed bugs okay which which seems to be a little red kind of thing in color so that is something else okay ma'am i just can't understand why was he tagging butterflies because he wanted a flock of butterflies he wanted them to grow and that is what he was doing because you know i told this to you shrey that they could find the butterflies only for 6 months okay and he was living there he just couldn't live without not capturing the butterflies that is why he wanted more butterflies there in that was the reason yeah beetles yeah you are right about that siali <laughs> i get that we would have to look for it what it is known as in hindi okay okay shreya i hope that you got the answer is that clear and anane i hope that your doubt is clear too is that clear so now we see now he started testing the theory on viceroy butterflies they are again one of the species of butterflies and they copy monarchs so somehow they are like monarchs only that is monarchs butterflies so the theory was that viceroys look like monarchs so viceroy okay viceroy butterflies viceroy butterflies again is a species don't be confused here and we are not talking about a viceroy uh, chancellor okay don't be confused is that clear Mama call it ladybug yeah that's a ladybug actually
all right okay yes right that's clear okay so now we see that uh, viceroys they used to look like monarchs why because they don't taste good to birds like birds they usually uh, what do they do like they go ahead with their feeding on these butterflies so ab ye tha ki birds ko na zyada taste nahi aata tha viceroy butterflies mein viceroys on the other hand do taste good to birds okay so uh, sorry monarchs jo the un wo wala taste acha nahi hota tha like monarchs don't taste good to birds that means monarchs birds ko monarchs khane mein maza nahi aata tha instead viceroy mein maza aata tha so the more they look like monarchs the less likely they are become a birds dinner so matlab wo zyada tar unhi ki tarah dikhte the okay so that is why birds used to just avoid them a bright project was to see whether in fact birds would eat monarchs now a brightness started he started working on a project where he wanted to, wanted to know that whether the birds they are going to eat monarch butterflies or not he found that a starling would not eat ordinary bird food all right so now what did he say okay yeah prakar but i made it clear again all right i made it clear again okay i hope that you understand that all right starling so now we are coming to it okay here we go so now guys what are we here talking about we are here talking about that that when a bright project was to see whether in fact birds would eat monarchs so now a bright started working on a project wherein he wanted to know if the birds they would find the monarch butterflies tasty or if they are going to eat monarchs or not so now he found that star a starling a starling starling is the type of bird all right it's a type of bird and he found that starling would not eat ordinary bird food all right that means like starling is not like is a bird who is not going to have a, any ordinary bird food that means usually whatever birds eat starling is not going to have them it would eat all the monarchs it could get so a starling only a type of bird will not go for the uh, ordinary kind of food instead would eat and consume the entire monarchs that it would get So a bright said later research by other people show that viceroys probably do copy the monarch. So viceroys, all right, they used to be like monarchs. So this project was first placed in geology division and third overall in the county science science fair. So what happened is that it was the like since it was being deal sorry it was dealing with what like birds and everything. So if this particular project was being placed in geology division. and this project won the very third okay in the very third position in the county fair is that clear hey smriti hi dear is that making sense to everyone yes everyone later research by other people basically means that this was his research but others also researched right there were other people also who were researching on this and they informed this is that clear yes i hope that's very clear to everybody All right. Is there any doubt so far? Is there any doubt so far, everyone? Is there any doubt so far? Let the spammer spam, guys. Okay, they just seek attention, so let it be. We are not going to give them the attention. All right, you guys, just concentrate on whatever I'm telling you. All. all right, Smriti, what is not clear? Just let me know, Yogita. What is not clear, Surendra? Are you answering that? Is there any doubt, or are you answering to the question that everything is clear? Ever is there? There is no doubt. Everything is clear. Shrey, because he was just in eighth standard, okay, and he was talking about all these things. And there obviously there were other scientists who would work. There are a lot of scientists who work on the same uh, research that has been taken by any other sci uh, scientist. Okay, everything is clear. Cool. So in his second year in high school, यानी कि अब जो दूसरा साल चल रहा था high school में, Richard Abright began the research that led to his discovery of an unknown insect hormone. Now he was just beginning his research. Okay, so and while he was researching, he discovered something. And what did he discover? He discovered an insect hormone. okay and hormone indirectly it also led to his new theory on the life of cells so wahan se hormone ka pata chalte hi wahan se ek nayi theory aayi jisse ki pata and what was that theory it was the theory on life of cells like cells ka kitne time tak reh sakte hain what is their use and everything about it so the question he tried to answer was simple what is the purpose of the 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa so you know 
when a monarch species of butterfly all right like monarch species i'm talking about the monarch uh, butterfly so when when out of the egg appears that uh, particular uh, sorry when out of the egg appears the caterpillar and then when caterpillar okay turns into a pupa so there are 12 tiny matlab 12 chote chote gold color ke spots hai usme uska reason kya hai everyone assumed the spots were just ornamental so everybody was like this is how monarch species are aur wo ornamental hai matlab wo uski beauty hai okay wo bas ek tarika hai ki wo is tarike se paida hota hai all right is that clear so what do we see we see a bright said but dr yurke heart didn't believe it lekin abrian a bright ne ye bola ki wo matlab sabne ye assume kiya ki wo ornamental the lekin dr yurke heart ne is cheez ko yakeen nahi kiya to find the answer a bright and another excellent science students first had to build a device okay that showed that the spots were producing a hormone necessary for the butterfly's full development now abhi jab wo pupa mein wo jo 12 tiny gold spots आते हैं उसका रीजन सिर्फ ऑर्नामेंटल नहीं है कि वो उसकी ब्यूटी दिखा रहा है उसका एक्चुअल रीजन ये है कि वो जो टाइनी टाइनी स्पॉट्स हैं वो एक हार्मोन रिलीज करते हैं जिससे कि एक प्यूपा कन्वर्ट होता है एक बटरफ्लाई में सो दिस इज व्हाट ही केम टू नो जब उसने अपना एक मतलब एज एन एब्राइट ने और उसके एक फ्रेंड ने जो मिलके ये चीज एक 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 ऐसी डिवाइस ओके प्रोड्यूस करी जिससे कि ये पता चल गया कि वो रेड्स और जो टाइनी स्पॉट्स हैं वो बेसिकली हार्मोन प्रोड्यूस कर रहे हैं इज दैट क्लियर एवरीवन इज दैट क्लियर एवरीबडी इज दैट क्लियर टॉम डू यू वांट टू बी ब्लॉक माय डियर इफ यू वांट इट सो यू कैन स्पैम द नेक्स्ट टाइम एंड द वन मोर टाइम यू सेंड अ मैसेज यू आर ब्लॉक्ड ऑल राइट okay here we go so we see this project one at right first place in the county fair and enter into the international science and engineering fair so this was the project keep that in the mind the device that he had actually made with his excellent roommate okay sorry with his excellent science student All right, which showed that a hormone is being produced. यहाँ से उसको first position मिली county fair में and उसके बाद he got into the international fair as well as the engineering fair. All right, is that clear, everyone? All right. So there he won third place for zoology. So वहाँ पे उसको तीसरी position भी मिली zoology के लिए. So he also got a chance to work during the summer at the entomology laboratory of the Walter Reed Army Institute of Research. Very important people. Keep that in your mind. You are going to write the name of the Institute of Research in all capitals. I mean, the very first letter of this should be capital. That is Walter, then Reed, then Army, then Institute, and Research. Keep that in your mind. So, वहाँ से उसको मिला. एंट्री मिली एंटमोलॉजी लेबोरेटरी में ओके एंड देयर इन ही वाज बीइंग सो वेरी मच ऑनर्ड ऑल राइट सो बेसिकली एंटमोलॉजी लेबोरेटरी इज अ इज अ लेबोरेटरी व्हिच डील्स विद द स्टडी ऑफ इंसेक्ट्स ओके वेयर यू आर जस्ट स्टडीइंग द इंसेक्ट्स दैट इज व्हाट इट इज इज दैट क्लियर एवरीवन now moving ahead as the high school junior richard ebright continues his advanced experiments on the monarch pupa okay so uska to pupa bhi chal hi raha tha research okay now he was just doing more advanced kind of okay he was doing more advanced kind of yeah so he was doing more advanced kind of research on this that year his project won first place at the international science fair and gave him another work a chance to work in the army laboratory during the summer so now guys with his discoveries and and the very way he was conducting his experiments he started getting the very uh, like the very prestige okay in the entire world is that clear so now what happened is ab usko next chance mila army laboratory mein kaam karne ka so in his senior year that means the very last step in his career in terms of studying he went a step further wo ek step aur aage badha he grew cells from a monarch's wing in a culture and showed that the cells would divide and develop into normal butterfly wing scales only if they were fed the hormone from the gold spots very important guys what happened jo last pehle to usko pata chal gaya कि वो गोल्ड स्पॉट्स किस लिए हैं कि एक हार्मोन रिलीज हो रहा है जिससे कि बटरफ्लाई में कन्वर्शन हो रहा है अब उसने क्या किया अब उसने ना सेल्स को बढ़ाया ओके सेल्स दे आर बीइंग नीडेड ऑल राइट दैट इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट अ लिविंग एंटिटी द बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स राइट लाइक वी नो दिस सो वेल वी स्टार्टेड दिस इन बायोलॉजी सो अब उसने क्या किया उसने सेल्स को बढ़ाया मोनार्क्स विंग 
मोनार्क के विंग विंग के थ्रू मोनार्क स्पीशीज दैट इज मोनार्क बटरफ्लाईज के स्पीशीज के विंग के थ्रू उन्होंने वो सेल्स को बढ़ाया इन अ कल्चर इन अ कल्चर मीन्स की थोड़े ग्रुप में ओके एंड शो दैट द सेल्स वो डिवाइड एंड डिवेलप इन टू नॉर्मल अब क्या किया वो जो सेल्स थे ना वो डिवाइड हो रहे थे ओके okay? और साथ के साथ डिवेलप हो रहे थे एक नॉर्मल बटरफ्लाई में ओके एंड इट वुड डिवेलप इन टू नॉर्मल बटरफ्लाई विंग स्केल्स ओके सो जो विंग पे स्केल्स आ रहे थे ना उसमें वो डिवाइड हो रहा था ऑल राइट ओनली दे वर फेड द हॉर्मोन फ्रॉम द गोल्ड स्पोर्ट सो जब जब वो चीजें आई I मीन mean, वो जो विंग्स थे और उस पर स्केल्स आ रहे थे वो कैसे आ रहे थे दैट वॉज थ्रू द सेल्स एंड वेयर वर दो सेल्स फाउंड दो सेल्स वर इन द हॉर्मोन दैट वॉज बींग रिलीज ऑल राइट डू यू ऑल गेट दैट एवरी वन येस इज दैट मेकिंग सेंस तो क्या हो रहा था कि मोनार के विंग से सेल को ग्रो किया जा रहा था और फिर क्या हो रहा था कि सेल्स जो है वो फर्दर डिवाइड हो रहे थे और वो डिवेलप किस में हो रहे थे डिवाइड होके डिवेलप हो रहे थे वो नॉर्मल बटरफ्लाई विंग में ऑल राइट right, और वो विंग कैसे बढ़ रहा था वो तब बढ़ रहा था जब वो हार्मोन वहां तक पहुंच रहा था ओके okay, जो टाइनी स्पॉट से निकल रहा था दैट प्रोजेक्ट वन फर्स्ट प्लेस फॉर जुलॉजी एट द इंटरनेशनल फेयर उसने फर्स्ट प्राइज लिया so he spent the summer after graduation doing further work at the army laboratory and at the laboratory of the us department of agriculture to usne wahan pe kaam kiya usko sab samajh mein aaya and he did amazing work the following summer after his freshman year at the harvard university ebright went back to the laboratory of the department of agriculture and did more work on the hormone from the gold spots using the laboratory sophisticated instruments that means advanced instruments ab usne use kare aur ab wo fir se wahi gold spots pe kaam kar raha hai he was able to identify the hormone ka chemical structure jo hormone release ho raha tha uska chemical structure kya hai all right do you get that so now we see a year and a half later yani ki 1.5 years ke baad okay jab wo junior tha all right that means when, during his college days ebright got the idea for his new theory about cell life ab usko idea mil gaya cell life ki jo new theory thi it came while he was looking at x ray photos of the chemical structure of a hormone so jo hormone release ho raha tha uski x ray photos okay usne check ki thi to usme usko chemical structure dikh raha tha what when he saw those photos ebright didn't shout wo chillaya nahi eureka or even i have got it eureka is one of the expressions that we show in order to accomplish something that is it's like hurray okay but he believed that along with his findings about insect hormones the photos gave him the answer to one of the biologists by bi, uh, biology's puzzles so ab usko finally answer mil gaya tha ki cells matlab theory of cells se kya life kaise divide ho rahi hai kaise ban rahi hai ओके, सो ये सबसे बड़ी एक पजल थी बायोलॉजी में ये एक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट डिस्कवरी थी विच वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट वॉट विच वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट द लाइफ ऑल राइट सो नाउ वट हैपन इज हाउ द सेल कैन रीड द ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ इट्स डी एन ए दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वट डू यू मीन बाय द ब्लू प्रिंट वॉट डू यू मीन बाय द ब्लू प्रिंट ऑफ इट्स डी एन ए डी एन ए इज द सबस्टांस इन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ द सेल यू नो दैट इन द न्यूक्लियस ऑफ अ सेल All right, we have got DNA, right? And that controls heredity. Heredity, as in, for example, I'm saying I've got the DNAs of my mom and father, right? Why? Because I am the offspring of my parents. Similarly, you have got the DNA of your parents. So this is what he found. He found that cell read कर सकता है blueprint of its DNA. ओके और डीएनए होता क्या है वो एक सेल का न्यूक्लियस न्यूक्लियस इज द मेन पार्ट ऑफ द सेल जिससे कि हेरिडिटी को आप कंट्रोल कर सकते हो दैट मींस कि उससे लाइफ आगे जनरेट होती है सो आप डीएनए के थ्रू हेरिडिटी को कंट्रोल किया जा सकता है दैट यस इट बिलोंग्स टू दिस so it determines the form and function of the cell usse hame jo cell ka function aur form pata chalta hai thus dna ka kya matlab hai it's a blueprint for life that means it is actually a, the very proof of life do you get that everybody copies very good that is it's a copy of life that is how from the cells the regeneration is taking place and a new life is getting formed that is what he saw jab usne wo chemical structure dekha na जब उसने वो एक्सरे देखा जब वो फोटो देखी वो केमिकल स्ट्रक्चर को देख के समझ में आया उसको ऑल राइट right, कि कैसे कॉपी हो रहा है ऑल राइट डीएनए 
Now, a bride and his college roommate, James R. Wong, very important name, keep that in your mind. He was the roommate. Worked all that night drawing pictures and constructing plastic models of molecules to show how it could happen. Together, they later wrote the paper that explained the theory. So, ye hua tha. Unhone puri raat kam kia. Unhone pictures banai. Unhone plastic ke models banai. Ye dikhane ke liye ki ye actually ho sakta hai. That is how it is working. Is that clear, everyone? Yes, yeah, Shrey, you are right about that. All right, you're right. Yeah, Yogita, you're right. So surprising, no one who knew him, Richard Ebright, graduated from Harvard with highest honors. So now, किसी को भी पता नहीं था, okay, जो उसको जानता नहीं था, so आप उस उनको सबको ये पता चला कि Richard Ebright graduate हुआ, okay, he had his degree from Harvard University with highest honors. That means सबसे ज़्यादा, सबसे ज़्यादा certificate, सबसे ज़्यादा accomplishments उसको मिली. Second in his class of one five one zero. So how many students were in his class? One five one zero. And in that class, he stood second. Ebright went on to become a graduate student researcher. At Harvard Medical School. After that, what did he do? He went on to become a graduate student researcher. Okay, now he wanted to be a student researcher. Wo Harvard Medical School gaya. There he began doing experiments to test his theory. Now he found his theory. This is how scientists do. Theory mil gayi. Okay, theory mil gayi ki copy ho raha hai. All right, blueprint ek dem DNA ka, and that is how it is happening. Up now he wanted to experiment that. Theory is now clear. He wanted to testify it. So if the theory proves correct, it will be a big step towards understanding the process of life. Now he's like, if the theory correct prove hoti hai, to ye bahut bada step hone wala hai. All right, ye bahut bada step hone wala hai. Or three towards like three thirty. So now what happened is that it might also lead to new ideas for preventing some types of cancer and other diseases. So now, like this is also mentioned कि हो सकता है इससे पता करने से हमें ये भी पता चले कि हम कैसे बड़ी-बड़ी बीमारियाँ जैसे कि कैंसर हो गया या फिर और दूसरी बीमारियों को हम कैसे रोक सकते हैं, कैसे प्रिवेंट कर सकते हैं, कैसे क्योर कर सकते हैं। All of this is possible because of a bright scientific curiosity. You know, like if you have got curiosity for something, if you want to know that how we can improve our vocabulary, if I'm telling you how you can do it, you will definitely do it. You will work for it. No matter whosoever is saying anything around you or making fun of you that you cannot pronounce this well, your pronunciation is really bad. All these things would not matter to you because you will look for the ways in order to improve it. Because you are very much curious about the fact that where exactly you are lacking and then you will start working on that and you will not leave it till the time you achieve it. Similarly, this happened with Richard Ebrahim that he was not leaving what he knew till the time he achieved that position. Alright, so what do we see? That all this became possible because of his scientific curiosity. His high school research into the purpose of the spots on a monarch pupa eventually led him to his theory about cell life. You know, like his very research that what 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 are those tiny dots, twelve tiny dots, twelve tiny gold spots doing on the body of the pupa? Okay. So that has a role, they release a hormone, right, which further helps in the development of a butterfly. All right, is that clear? The theory, this, that, that we are here, only, the only theory that we are talking here about is testing the theory that it copies. What did I tell you here, Shrey? That here he says how the cell can read the blueprint, uh, blueprint of its DNA. So this is the theory. Okay, this is basically the thing that he came to know that how the how how the cell can lead to the life regeneration. Okay, do you get that? So here we see Richard Ebright has been interested in science since he first began collecting butterflies dash, but not so deeply that he hasn't time for other interest. Ebright also became a champion debater and public speaker and a good canoeist and all around outdoors person. He's also an expert photographer, particularly of nature and scientific exhibits. Guys, this is what life is all about. Okay, we shouldn't be like concentrating only on one thing. He was a great scientist. I mean that he proved himself to be a great scientist. Okay, he was working on a theory but despite that you see that he was a champion debater that means he had won the debate competitions okay he was an amazing public speaker he used to speak publicly as well all right is that making sense everybody are you all understanding that are you all getting that everyone yes are you all getting that everyone so in life you all really need to know this 
okay you all really need to know this that what exactly yes a bright is still there okay he is like still there so what do we see everyone that that he 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 was a public speaker and he was a good kinoist what who is a kinoist everyone can you please tell me like this is something that somewhere i mentioned to everybody as well in one of our chapters everyone what is it everybody come on so we see that he was literally a good speaker as well all right and kinois is basically referring to a person you know can it is basically a boat kind of thing like that all right like that and he just is an amazing at that as well all right he can race amazingly and he is into a lot of outdoor activities as well and he's an expert photographer particularly of nature and scientific exhibits like that is what we see no his mother had given him what his mother had given him a camera right is that clear rose boat right right trade right okay yes so now we see in high school richard ebright was a straight okay a student so that means was a straight basically means that he was just a student okay because learning was easy he turned a lot of his energy towards the debating and model united nation clubs so he used to be very intelligent he was focusing on all the aspects of life he also found someone to admire richard a okay by herer his social studies teacher and advisor to both clubs so now he used to admire his teacher a lot whose name was richard a y herer very important he was a social studies teacher and he was advisor to both clubs clubs basically refer to the uh, model united nation clubs and the debating clubs okay so mr y herer was the perfect person for me then he opened my mind to new ideas so he found some sort of like uh, you can say mm, you can say encouragement from him a bright sin richard would always give that extra effort so now he is saying that he was the one who would always do some extra efforts in order to come up with certain new ideas so mr vairhar said what pleased me was here was this person who put in 3 or 4 hours at night do doing debate research besides doing all his research with butterflies and his other in interest so now mr vairhar why hirer sorry yeah why hirer he used to like this a lot ke richard apni experiments ke sath sath aur bhi itna time lagata tha जितने भी डिबेट के रिसर्च में ओके एंड उसके अलग इंटरेस्ट भी थे बटरफ्लाईज भी कैप्चर करता था सो ही वॉज मेंटेनिंग अ बैलेंस इन एवरीथिंग एंड दैट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स वी कम टू नो फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर एवरी वन एंड द मॉरल दैट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर इज दैट डो नॉट स्टिक टू वन पार्ट ऑफ योर लाइफ दैट यू आर जस्ट कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन योर अकेडमिक्स एंड यू आर लिविंग ऑल दी अदर थिंग्स इन योर लाइफ ओके बिकॉज यू नो यू नीड टू बी और यू नीड टू बी समथिंग देयर इन यू आर नॉट बिकमिंग डम इन टू अनदर डोमेन्स ऑफ योर लाइफ ओके यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट no and a new person who light boat no person who just races so well and can just go uh, in the very boarding canoeing so easily is that clear okay here we go so we see richard was competitive so he was very competitive in nature he wanted to win right i told you mr virer continued but not in a bad sense so he was not competitive in a bad sense okay usko jeetna isliye nahi tha ki dusre ko niche dikhana hai usko jeetna apne liye tha All right Richard wasn't interested in winning for winning sake or winning to get a prize rather he was winning because he wanted to do best job he could for the right reason he wanted to do the best so this is important wo jeetne ke liye jeetta nahi tha wo jeetta isliye tha kyunki usko best apna job dena tha usko wo theory develop karni thi he was curious why this why that and not because of the fact that he just wanted a trophy for himself all right so and that is one of the ingredients that means that is one of the main things that is one of the main components in the making of a scientist that is what is needed you cannot become a scientist if you just want to do what if you just want to have trophies you want to show the world that this is my discovery no if you are winning for the sake of winning if you are winning just for the sake of showing it to the world then you are not a good winner okay you are you are just wasting your time and efforts if you are winning because you wanted to develop something and if you want this to really be developed so that it can somehow help the entire world so that is where the winning is actually the winning okay so start with a first rate mind that means start with the thing which is actually there in your mind okay add curiosity 
that means add curiosity why this why why is it happening and mix in the will to win now that is right ki first rate mind is the mind wherein the actual thought that gets into your mind usme curiosity dalo aur fir usko ekdam se mix karo apni will ki aap chahte ho aap jeeto sahi cheezon ke liye okay so abright has these qualities usme ye qualities hain from the time of the book the travels of monarch x open the world of science to him richard abright has never lost his scientific curiosity wo ek kitab thi जो उसकी मम्मी ने उसको दी थी जिससे कि उसमें इतनी क्यूरियोसिटी जगी एंड ही स्टार्टेड वर्किंग ऑन द एंटायर प्रोजेक्ट एंड द थ्योरी ऑल राइट फॉर हिम द वेरी सर्च फॉर द स्पीशीज एंड एवरीथिंग वाज बीइंग डन विद द वेरी ट्वेंटी फाइव काइंड ऑफ स्पीशीज दैट ही हैड ऑलरेडी कैप्चर्ड ओके बट वेन ही रेड द बुक एंड वेन दैट बुक इन्वाइटेड द पीपल टू हेल्प स्टडी ओके द डिफरेंट स्पीशीज okay there in from there on he started developing his own ideas developing his theory he advanced his search and he wanted to win all right people <clears throat> is that clear is that clear to everybody yes so now we are moving to our menti quiz i hope that's clear to everyone let's move ahead and we are going to have 23 questions in front of us everybody let's go yes yogita the chapter is covered i am going to deal with the ncre questions okay and the extra questions tomorrow in the special class right at 8 pm so be right there okay and roll for it for sure and everyone join in the menti quiz all right everyone the code is right in front of you be as quick as you all can that's going to be good for you and we will have a lot of questions in front of us now all right yogita you will have to open menti www.menti.com it will ask you for a code there which is 10510634 and then you are good to go join in okay here we are okay so 20 students are in and that's really going good very nice okay so 24 students are in may i now move ahead everybody 25 students okay arozi what is your problem i didn't see any of your messages wherein you have told me any question i couldn't see that all right here we go now i'm moving ahead with the questions right in front of you all and just let me know the answers everyone richard h a bright was famous okay what exactly is the right answer singer scientist doctor or engineer what exactly is the right answer everyone okay very good scientist that's very right let's have a look at the leaderboard who all are there on the leaderboard and i have got a lot of students let's see pagi is at the first position right and then riya pagi and riya you guys are the fastest one then unati jate namrita radhima zain nandini nevin and place it proper great now we are moving to the next question let's have a look at the question Question number two on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. Who encouraged a bright in his interest in learning? Who encouraged him? His mother, his father, his brother, his teacher. What exactly is the right answer, everyone? A, B, C, or D? What is it, guys? A, B, C, or D? What exactly is the right answer? A, B, C, or D? okay so let's have a look what does it talk about and what does it really talk about 
okay his mother very good you guys are right about that and his father and his brother guys i'm just assuming it to be a completely miss okay i mean a misclick now let's move ahead to the leaderboard what is the uh, it is talking about arozi it is 1051 okay let me write it for all of you here in the very chat option it's 1051634 okay that is the right answer i mean that is the right uh Good. Jatin, you're the fastest one. Very good. Ria, Amrita, Pagi, Nani, Rhythma, Placey, Prakarnathi, Shrey, and Sumbul. All righty. The new students, welcome to the leaderboard. Now, moving to the next question. Question number three on your screen. Let's see what does it talk about. A bride tried to grow caterpillars in the presence of what? What exactly is the answer? Beetles, snakes, wasps, or you say all of the above? What exactly is the right answer, guys? A, B, C or D. Quite an easy question, right? Not that difficult to answer. You guys can answer that so easily. A, B, C or D. A bride tried to grow caterpillars in the presence of what? What is it? A, B, C or D. Okay, 2, 1 and the time is up already. So what exactly is the right answer? Beetles. Wasp is nowhere given. Snakes definitely not given guys and all of the above definitely not. So the 5 students, I think you were all sleeping in the class if I'm not wrong. Is it? Okay, so here we have the leaderboard now. Let's have a look. What does it talk about? Who is at the first position? I've got Chatin at the first position, Riyad and Pagi are the fastest one, Amrita, Ridhima, Placid, Prakar, Unnati, Riya, Ananya and Shrey. Now we are moving Zed, oh my god, why are you misclicking there? Question number 4 on your screen and here we are, let's have a look. Which of the following is a type of butterflies? Now this is a question, okay? Like Viceroy, Monarch, both A and B or none of the above? I think the answer is very easy, right? We already did that. Again, Zed, did you misclick again? I hope that no, right? So what exactly is going to be the right answer here, guys? A, B, C or D? What is it? All right, Zed says B. Okay, Preeti says C. Shresh says C. Okay. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. All right. And what exactly it is? Both A and B, 26 students. Very well done. Let's have a look at the leaderboard now. What does it talk about? And I have got... So, we have got Ria, you're the fastest one. Pagir, Vidima, Ria, Unati, Placid, Praka, Ananya, Sumbul, Nandini and Shrey. Aditya, what happened to you? I don't see you on leaderboards, the, the leaderboards these days. Question number 5 on your screen, everyone. Here we are. Which book did Ebright's mother give, uh, sorry, give him to? So, Travels of Manak uh, X or Travels of Ebright, Travels of Dr. Yurke Hart or Travels of Viceroy X. What exactly is the right answer? A, B, C or D. Be quick, okay? Not that difficult question, right? What exactly is the right answer? A, B, C or D. What is it, everybody? What is it after that? And now we are going to see that. Okay, 27 students. You guys are very right about that. Guys, please note on Sunday, I'm going to have um, a menti quiz or whatever chapters we have covered this week. Okay, it's going to be a mega menti kind of thing. Uh, maybe at 2 or 3 p.m. All right, just keep a check on the channel. You'll come to know about that and do be uh, and be there. Okay, I'll be covering up almost all the questions. Okay, all the important things from the chapter. So it's going to be a mega menti quest kind of thing all right so be right there here we go Pagi, you're the fastest one Rhea, Radhima, Unati, Placid, Prakar, Rhea, Shrey, Nandini, Shraddha and Rajneesh okay here we go now let's have a look at the next question question number six on your screen and here we go what does it say a bride is an expert what scientist debater photographer or all of the above what exactly is the right answer this is quite an important question wherein we are dealing with the hobbies of the person. Okay. So what are you going to write in here? That is what I am also concerned about. Okay. So we have got traced A and Z. This D. I'll write 10 more seconds everybody. Here we go. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. So what does it call for? 
okay guys what did i tell you towards the end of the chapter that besides being an ex uh, scientist he was really a champion debater didn't you see that word a champion debater basically refers to a person who is an expert debater and he was a very good photographer as well all right so please keep this in your mind this is very important guys all right 17 students and all the 12 students like you guys really missed it please be careful quite an easy question you guys missed it now the next thing let's have a look at the leaderboard what does it talk about and we have got Puggy at the very first position then i've got Rhea gupta then i've got rhythm then okay Puggy are the fastest one then place it Rhea ria shrey nandani and palak dragonite jordan great everyone all right okay okay all right other there question number seven on your screen everybody let's have a look what does it talk about at what grade did richard get a hint of what real science is very important let me see how many of you're gonna give me the correct answer fourth grade fifth grade sixth grade or seventh grade if you guys had listened to me carefully you know the answer well that i think i'm gonna get the mixed answers for this very particular question so let's see how many of you are going to tell this to me a b c or d everyone be quick a b c or d what exactly is going to be the right answer okay pile says d avandika says d prakha says d okay everybody says d okay let's see very good very good 19 students very very good seventh grade it was right and a very many congratulations for that very good you guys did it so well all right and uh, whosoever said fourth grade fifth grade and sixth grade guys 11 students you guys are wrong about that you need to just be sure that you are listening to me okay oh my god Zed, what is happening with you today now uh, shrey i'll see there I'll, I'll let you know on sunday what we are going to deal with on monday okay just so so just stay tuned and puggy you're the fastest one then rhea radima place it prakar nandini shrey rhea palak dragonite and jathan you are the fastest one here we go hey mohini question number eight on your screen let's have a look what does it really talk about all right so let's see which of the following is a part of the life cycle of butterflies egg caterpillar pupa or you say all of the above all right what exactly is the right answer hey pratiksha hi so our names they rhyme right pratiksha preksha shreshth says d avandika says d praka says d nisha says d all right what about others pratiksha is also saying d quite an easy question basically a biology question so we know this from our very general knowledge as well right here we go and let's have a look what does it talk about okay 25 students you guys are right about that and that's really good very nice let's have a look at the leaderboard what does it talk about and who all are there on the leaderboard let me have a look so puggy is at the first position and is the fastest one then i've got Rhea. then i've got rhythma then place it proka nandini shrey Rhea, palak and dragonite and chatan doing great so far and that's going really amazing question number nine on your screen let's have a look i hope that you all love this session i mean this is really one of the very important chapters from your examination point of view it was his fascination for that opened the world of him uh, science to him so like cats dogs birds or butterflies what exactly it was his fascination for dash so what is it what what has been given in your entire book let me see how many if we're gonna just nail in this particular question and here we go eight seven six five four three two one and the time is up all right really shrey i don't know maybe <laughs> okay that if that is happening d is the right answer all right here we are going here we go okay so leaderboard here it is puggy you are the first position Rhea, radima shrey place it brock nandini Rhea, palak dragonite and Jotan. you are the fastest one now we are moving ahead to the next question question number 10 on your screen here we are hey krishna hi do what was he fond of in his childhood okay what is it that he really liked basketball collecting things baseball or you say none of the above what exactly is the right answer a b c or d what is it everyone a b c or d what is it okay nisha says b shresh says b yogita says b ritesh okay i think that is going to be the right answer all right 
let's see if that's gonna be the right one or the wrong one five four three two one and the time is up okay so what does it say all right very good 22 students you guys are right about that now we are gonna move to the next thing that is our leaderboard let's see what does it talk about and i've got buggy at the first position and we've got Rhea then, Puggy is the fastest one, then Rhea, Radhima, Nandi, Placey, Prakar, Shrey, Pallak, Dragonite, Jatin and Unnati. Now we are moving to the next thing. Let's have a look. What does it talk about? So congratulations. You guys made through your 10 questions. And if all your 10 questions were correct, hats off to all of you. Question number 11. How many species of butterflies had he collected till second grade? So 20, 21, 24 or 25? Again, a detail which is really important from your examination point of view. Every time keep that in mind. Like what exactly you need to know about it. Okay, here we are. Let's see what does it talk about. So 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay, D everyone. Again, the answer is D. Oh my God. Again, it is D. All right. Here we go and what is it? Very good. Guys, nowhere it has been given 20, 21, 24. I had told this so clearly. Like till the time he was in his second grade, he was able to collect 25 species, right? 25 species of butterflies. So keep that in your mind. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. All right. What does it talk about? What does it talk about? Zed, why are you spamming there? Yeah, Shrey, I just noticed it. So, Puggy, Rhea, Rudhima, Nandi, Placey, Prakash, Shrey, Palak, Dragonite, Chatin, you're the fastest one doing good and Sumbul. Great. Now, the next question. Question number 12 on your screen. Let's have a look. What does it talk about? And when did he find the cause of a viral disease common among caterpillars in the 7th grade, in the 8th grade, in college, or you say none of the above? What exactly is the right answer now? Now here I'm sure D is not the answer. Alright. So what exactly is the right answer? A, B, C or D. What is it everybody? 13, 12, 11, 10. Let's see how does it go guys. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. Alright. Pile says C. Krishna says A. Yogita says A. Okay. Very good. In the 8th grade. Okay. Like he had found the cause of a viral disease. Which is common among caterpillars. Alright. So that is where you are really good. Now let's move ahead. And let's have a look at the leaderboard. In a way I can see the same set of students. Nobody new is trying to come up. Nobody new is having the dare to come. Right. Puggy is the fastest one. Rhea, Rhythma, Nandi, Palak, Shrey, Dagonite, Placid, Prakar, Chatin and Sumbul. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number 13 on your screen. And here we are. So what did he collect during his childhood? What did he collect everyone? Coins, rocks, butterflies or all of the above. What is the right answer? 24 more seconds for everybody. What did he collect during his childhood? Everyone knows this so well. Okay, we are talking about his kindergarten days. All right. So what is it? Okay, Z. Okay, D. This time the answer is D. All right. Let's see if that is going to be the case. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. So what exactly is going to be the right answer? Oh my God, everyone. Like he used to collect rocks. He used to collect the coins. This has so been given. Like what did he used to collect during his childhood? So 14 students, hats off to you guys. Okay, just give a pat to yourself on your shoulder. That's really good. 13 students, you guys didn't understand the question correctly. I've always been saying, read the question carefully before you give the answer. So 14 students, hats off to all of you. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. So who was the fastest one in this question? I'm really eager. Now I'm curious to know. Who is the uh, fastest one here? And we have got Rhea at the first position. Then Nandi, Palak, Dragonite, Placid, Prakar, Jatin, you are the fastest one. Pagir, Rhythma, Sumbul and Rhea. Now let's move ahead everyone. Let's have a look at the next question. Question number 14 on your screen. And here we go. What does it talk about? He tried to grow dash in the presence of beetles. Okay. What did he try to grow? Butterflies, caterpillar, rats or snakes. What is the... <coughs> right answer what is the right answer okay so 10 more seconds for everyone let's see 9 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And the time is up. All right. So what is it called? Caterpillar. Okay, guys. Okay. Like this was so clearly given. No, he just wanted to see that why are they dying in just few years? So that is why he, and the reason he found that it could be because of beetles. But um, that is why he had made the caterpillars grow in the presence of beetles. Okay, now we are moving ahead. Here we go. Uh, Alrighty, here we are. Leaderboard here it is. Rhea at the very first position. You are the fastest one. And then Jatin, you are the fastest one again. Redima, Sambul, Placid, Prakar, Rhea, Nand, the Nipah, like Dragonite and Shrey. Now the next question, everyone. Here we go. Question number 15 on your screen, everybody. What does it say? Which butterflies, okay, it's lies. It's butterflies were not eaten by birds. Why Shroy, Monarch, all of the above, none of the above. What exactly is the right answer? Yeah, Shroy, you were right about that. Zed, it is already happening. Are you talking about the interactive session? Yes. Yash, would you find pile somewhere else? We are studying right now and you are disturbing the class, my dear. What exactly is the right answer? Six more seconds for all the dearies out there and tell me the correct answer, please. Here we are. Time is up. Everybody voted Monarch. Okay, that is very right. Very good. Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What does leaderboard talk about? I've got Rhea at the very first position, alrighty, and then we have got uh, Rhea is the fastest one, then Jatin is the fastest one again, Ridhima, Sumbul, Rhea, Nandi, Palak, Shrey, Placid, Prakar, and Dragonite, alright, now let's move ahead to the next question, question number 16 on your screen, and let's move ahead, what does it say? Who did he write to get an idea for a real science experiment? His mother, his friend, Dr. Frederick A. Urquhart, or you say none of the upper. Quite an easy question again. No problem, Yash, but just uh, concentrate on what we are doing. That is what is going to be there in your examination, right? And that's what you should be concentrating on. So, what exactly is the right answer? A, B, C, or D? 10 more seconds for everyone right there. I told you, no, Dr. Frederick A. Urquhart. All right, Urquhart. Uh, Shabika, you're very late to say hi to me, but yeah, hi. 24 students, very well said, and let's have a look at the leaderboard. What is the leaderboard telling you all? And I've got Rhea at the very first position, then I've got Jatin, who's the fastest one, Bridhima, Sambul, Rihanna, Nepalak, Shrey, Placid, Prakar, and Dragonite. All right. Shrey, my dear, I told this to you. Did you hear me? Question number 17 on your screen. He was an excellent. I think it's a repetition, is it? Or let's see what exactly are the options. Okay, so in a way, uh, that's a repetition. Okay, debater, scientist, photographer, or all of the above. What exactly is the right answer? A, B, C, or D? Everybody be quick in telling me the correct answer, please. All right, A, B, C, or D? What is it? Here we go. Let's have a look. What does it talk about? All right. So the correct answer that comes up is your option number D. Very good. That was quite clear, right? Let's have a look at the leaderboard. What does it talk about? Rhea is at the first position. Then I've got Jatin. Okay. So Rhea is at the first position. Then Jatin is the fastest one. Rhythma, Sumbul, Rhea, Nandi, Palak, Trey, Placid, Prakar, and Dragonite. Now we are moving to the next question, question number 18 on your screen and here we go. What does it talk about? What groundbreaking research did Ebright do? <coughs> working of body, working of DNA, working of heart or none of the above. What is it? What exactly is the right answer? Yeah, Shrey, because the thing is the chapter was really difficult and I wanted to complete it today so that you guys are not really mm, dangling in between. Okay, working of DNA. That is very right. <coughs> now, is the leaderboard for everyone? What does it talk about? Okay, so Rhea at the first position, Jatin is the fastest one, Rhythma, Sumul, Rhea, Nandi, Shrey, Palak, Placid, Prakar, and Dragonite. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number 19 on everybody's screen and here we go. 
All right. So in which class was Ibrahim when he lost uh, at the county science, science fair? Five, eight, seven, or four? What class was he into everybody? A, B, C, or D? Five, eight, seven, or four? Eighteen more seconds for everyone right there. Yes, everyone. <coughs> seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So, what exactly is the right answer? Time is up. Okay, let's call for it. Okay. So, seven students gave the right answer. Please work on the details. Okay. Just go through the entire session again if you haven't understood anything and you all can just ask me the questions. All right. <coughs> Here we are. So Rhea, Jatin, the fastest one, Rhythma, Sambol, Rhea, Nandi, Palak, Placid, Prakar, Dragonite and Shrey. Now we are moving to the next question. Question number 20th on your screen. After this, we are left with just three more questions. Okay. So how many gold spots were there on a Mirac pupa? Is it 10, 15, 11 or 12? What exactly is the right answer? A, B, C or D? Come on everyone. 20 more seconds. Shrey, why? You shouldn't be leaving that spirit to study, right? You need to just score very good marks in your examination. Keep up your spirit. You need to keep that up. Here we go, everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. And the time is up. All right. So what does it call for? Very good. 12 students. You guys are right about that. All right. I mean, sorry, the number of students were different and I mean 12 is the right answer, okay? So 19 students, you guys are right about that. Let's have a look at the leaderboard, everyone. What does it say? Uh, Rhea is at the first position. Then I've got Chatham, then Radhima, okay? So Mool, Rayana, Nepal, I've placed a dragon, I didn't shrink. So the last three questions, congratulations if you all made through all the 20 questions so perfectly. Question number 21 on your screen. Name a bright social science teacher. Alrighty, Mr. Vahera, Dr. Yurke Hart, James R. Wong or Taplo. So this is pretty easy, right? Quite a straightforward one, not that difficult. So 20 more seconds, everyone. And just let me know the correct answer, please. What exactly is the right answer for this particular question? A, B, C or D? What is the right answer? 5, 6, 5, 4. Three, two, one, and the time is up. All right. So, what does it call for? Very good. 19 students, you guys are right about that. Let's have a look at the very uh, leaderboard. And who all are there? I've got Rhea at the first position. Then I've got Jatin at the first position. Uh, sorry, Jatin at the second position. And the fastest one, Rhythma, Sumbul, Rhea, Nandi, Pala, Placid, Prakar, Dragonite, and Shrey. 20 second question. So, the second last question on your screen, guys. Here we go. And what does it talk about? What did Richard's dad do? All right. Mm, okay. So scientist, doctor, he was dead or teacher. What exactly is the right answer here? Yeah, BTS, I got that. The Vyanshi said A for that. Okay. So now what exactly is the right answer here? 20 more seconds for everybody right there. So come up with the right answer. Uh, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. And 10 more seconds. So let's see how many of you are going to win for this one. Uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the time is up. Alrighty. So what exactly is the right answer? He was dead. Right. And let's have a look at the leaderboard everyone. What does it say? Rhea, Jadin, Radhima, Sambul, Rhea, Nandani. Pala, Placid, Prakar, Dragonite and Shrey. So the very last question on your screen. Let's have a look. Question number 23. Here we go. Name Richard's college roommate. Uh, the quite an important question. Okay. What exactly is the right answer? John, James, Jack or Jeff. What is the right answer? So 25 more seconds for everybody. Whosoever listened to me carefully, you all can give me the answer. Okay. So 20 more seconds, everyone. Let's see how many of you are going to give me the correct answer for this. 14, 13, 12, 11. 10 more seconds to go. And let's have a final look as in who all are going to give me the correct answer. Okay, so here in John. Okay, so very few students have given the very right answer for this one. Alrighty, people, now we are gonna move ahead and let's have a look at the leaderboard, everyone. Should I read that? Okay, we did that towards the last. So Rhea, Jatin, Radhima, Sumul, Rhea, Nandani, and Palak, Placid, Prakat, Dragonite, Shrey. Okay, so Jatin, you are the fastest one. 
ऑल राइडी हेओ वी आर मूविंग अहेड एवरी वन सो जाते हैं अ वेरी मेनी कंग्रेचुलेशन ऑल राइडी पीपल एंड हेव वी आर नाउ वी आर गोना मूव अ हेड गाइज मेक श्योर दैट यू ऑल आर ऑलवेज लिसनिंग टू मी सो वेरी केयरफुली ऑल राइट सो डोंट मिस आउट एनी थिंग ओके एंड वी हैव गॉन yeah and please uh, students if you have not uh, read the chapter clearly kindly read it okay kindly read it this is very much important for everyone all right is it making sense to everybody guys please read that this is very important don't miss out the reading of the chapter this is very very uh, like a theoretical chapter and it involves a lot of important things so that is why you have to remember it the right way is that making sense to everyone yes guys Yes, everyone. So now we are moving ahead, everyone. All righty, here we come. Okay, so I we I told James only. No, what is it? That what did we do? Okay, guys. No, here John is not the right answer. Sorry, James is the right answer. All right, let me just correct it for all of you. Okay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for this. James is actually the right answer. Okay, I thought that we are talking about James only. All righty. Mm, here we are. Let me just connect it. Yogita, we are going to have a mega menti for all the things that we have done so far in our next class. Okay, is that clear? All right, people. So I am finding it a bit difficult right now to correct that very particular question, but the correct answer for that question is James. Okay, it is not that. All righty. So just keep that in your mind that the correct answer is James. It's not John. All right, just keep that in your mind. now we are moving ahead everyone let's have a look at what do we have now i hope the entire chapter is clear to everyone so now moving ahead i would like to tell uh, to all of you about the subscription features you all get to learn live from the comfort of your home unlimited access to all the courses top educators of india on one single platform to just go ahead Mm, I have to take by my Congo fishes from Jatin Solanke. James is right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, right. So James is actually the right answer. Okay. I will see tomorrow. I am going to have the ninth class, and on Sunday I am going to have a mentor, a uh, mega menti quiz for both ninth as well as tenth. Okay, on different timings. So just keep a check on the very channel. All right. So now coming back to your Anna Academy subscription features, guys, you get to have regular doubt clearing and answer writing sessions. Exhaustive coverage of the entire syllabus is there, which is really amazing for your good, so that you guys can really do well in your examinations. Mentorship and guidance is definitely there. Study material in the form of PDF would be shared. Practice tests would be there. Live test series and batch courses. You would have daily practice sections, weekly mock test series, live quizzes, daily MCQ and subjective test series. So we have got different monthly plans. You all can go ahead with any plan that suits. So the base speed forty eight months, forty two months, thirty six months, twenty four months, eighteen months, fifteen months, twelve months, nine months, six months or three months. PSH ten is the code, my dear. Make use of this code; it will give you all straight forward ten percent discount and will make your life super duper easier as well. Rhythm of my dear, changing the answer is a bit difficult, but yes, the answer was James. It wasn't John. Okay, I was looking at it as James only. I'm really sorry for that. Alrighty, people, now you're very late, so you're very very late. And for nineties, oh, we started with the batches Lakshya Tam two all subjects, which got started on ten Jan, and Achievers batch for all subjects got started on seventeen Jan. Wherein I am dealing with the English literature part from six fifteen to seven fifteen p.m. on the days Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. All right, so kindly, definitely enroll for that for your good. And we have got the batches for tenth as well. Achievers batch for all the subject got started on ten Jan, and Lakshya Tam two for all subjects started on seventeen Jan. Now, guys. we have got a bugs bounty thing wherein it's an opportunity for all the learners to report any inappropriate content in the video so be the first one to report a particular issue to claim your prize and report any inappropriate content using the form which is given in the description below so an academy combat scholarship test is back guys for all of you for success in cbsc class 9 and 10 and the best part about this is that free it's a free registration combat is available in english as well as in hindi you have to deal with 30 questions in 45 minutes detailed video solution for each question would be them okay rank 1 to 3 will get one year plus subscription rank 4 to 10 will get 75% scholarship rank 11 to 50 will get 50% scholarship and rank 51 to 150 will get 25% scholarship so medals for top 3 rankers and merit certificates for top 25 rankers you all can win from a scholarship pool of rupee 1 crore enroll right away every sunday it is 11 am is the timing psh10 is the code guys make use of this code and definitely enroll 
Alrighty. Now rewards worth rupee one crore and win up to hundred percent scholarship. You all can have the medals for top. Like we are having medals for top three rankers and merit certificate for top twenty five rankers. CBSE class nine and ten. Eleven a.m. is the timing every Sunday. Enroll right away using the code PSH ten. Rank one plus gold uh, will get gold medal plus merit certificate. Rank two will get silver medal plus merit certificate. Rank three will get bronze medal plus merit certificate. Now an academy presents prodigy for class seven to ten learners. You all can win scholarship and prize. while testing your knowledge and mental ability and roll for free everyone jane 23 29 feb 6 and 13 12 to 1 is the timing for more details you all can check the link given in the description below all righty okay now an academy prodigy scholarship test everyone for from class 7 to 8 and 9 to 10 learners labels will be mental aptitude verbal ability journal science and logical reasoning On Sunday, June twenty third, twelve to one is the timing. Saturday, June twenty nine, twelve to one is the timing. Sunday, ah, uh, Feb six, twelve to one is the timing. Sunday, Feb thirteen, twelve to one is the timing. Okay, you all can enroll for this, guys. This is going to be literally good. Okay, an exciting rewards in every test is the test on twenty ninth and thirteen Feb. Win a twenty lakh college grant. Rank one will have MacBook Air. Rank two to three Apple iPhone. Rank four to five Apple iPad. Rank six to forty Amazon Echo Dot. And rank forty one to hundred Amazon vouchers. Scholarship labs. Rank one to ten will have hundred percent. Rank eleven to twenty five seventy five percent. Rank twenty six to hundred fifty percent. Rank hundred and one to two hundred twenty five percent. Rank two hundred one to five hundred will get fifteen percent. So. CBSE students for classes six to twelve offer for plus and iconic subscribers offer is ending on thirty first Jan. Buy plus subscription for twelve months and above and get extra three months K twelve subscription for free. Buy iconic subscription for twelve months and above and get six months Creative Corner subscription for free. So flat ten percent discount on purchasing plus and iconic subscription for any duration. It's valid for first five hundred subscribers. Be in that list, guys. Now coming to your iconic subscription, this is really unique because herein you will have a personal mentor wherein one-on-one -on -one interaction would be there. Arusi, go ahead with that. All right, and then uh, live uh, doubt solving sessions would also be there. Weekly reports would definitely be there, which is very important for all of you to score good marks. Right, parent connecting would also be there. Study planner and all the benefits of an academy subscription would also be a part of your iconic subscription. So here, in guys, the weightage of the benefit is more than the weightage of the amount that you're gonna be charged with. So kindly discuss about this with your parents. Let them know what you really want for yourself. We have got different monthly plans for your iconic subscription: forty-eight months, thirty-six. Month and thirty four months, eighteen months, fifteen months, twelve months, nine months, six months, or three months. PSH ten is the code, my dear. Make use of this code; it will give you straightforward ten percent discount. Will make your life easier as well. All right, and being your educator, I would really like to tell you all: always try to go for a long, longer tenure. That really helps. Okay, now coming to an academy free special class features. You will have a uh, real time interaction using chat and emojis. You all can ask the questions using the question tab. Live poll options for quiz would be there. Poll leaderboard. You all can compete with your friends as well. Okay, so guys, the these uh this is the timetable for all of you. Like tomorrow at eight pm, I'm going to deal with the uh questions of the making of a scientist. Okay, use the code PSH ten to be right there in the special class. Don't miss out the chance to be there. And on twenty third, we will have a mega poll on grammar for term two. So make sure that you all are definitely going to attend that. All right, people. Okay. So now, thank you, everyone. Is there any question that anybody wants to ask? Yes, Arozi. What exactly is your question? And Ria, the leaderboard, as I said, my dear, that uh, you guys will have to be very sure that here in the correct answer is uh, the correct answer for that very particular question was actually James. Okay. Alrighty, people. Then thank you, everyone. I'm gonna catch you all soon. Alright, we are gonna meet on Sunday now. So make sure that you guys are definitely coming up with reading all the chapters that we covered this week. In case if you haven't read it right. Alright, people. Is that clear? Yeah, Rosy, please tell me. Go ahead. You need to write what exactly uh, is your doubt. Okay, and guys, if you're new to the channel, kindly subscribe the channel and do not forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Okay, so let's crack it, everyone. Rosy, are you going ahead with your doubt, dear? All right. <clears throat> Arozi, get into the practice, my dear. Okay, you have to practice on a daily basis. For example, once you have read a chapter, okay. After that, there are certain NCR questions therein. Now, like attend my class, the special classes that I've taken up on the very previous chapters that we had done. Once I've explained the answer. All right. Try to write it on your own. You have to practice writing. The more you practice writing it, it becomes so easy for all of you to frame the right answers. 
okay that is the key you can write in english the good way only if you are in the practice of doing that okay so kindly get into the practice just try to frame the answers all right and write it okay that way you will learn it all right people is that clear mm, everybody all right then i hope i will see your doubt is cleared i'll i'll catch you all soon everyone take care bye bye and let's crack it